Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm kind of sort of in the middle of filming another video. I don't know which one is going to go up, this one or that one. But this video is, I guess, me showing what new products I picked up from Sephora and also a video in which I told you all in a previous video I was going to show you. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So, like I said, I picked up a few things from Sephora, three of them being foundations. One of them is like a repurchase, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what my perfect color since the last one oxidized on me. It's the Huda Beauty um, Full Filter Foundation in the color 420G, which is lighter than the one that I picked up before in, four, in Gingerbread. Um, I also picked up the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation in number 41. This one is my perfect shade. It's slightly lighter. Well, I'm guessing it's lighter than the one that I typically, typically love, which is in number 45. And lastly, the last liquid foundation I picked up is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. And I purchased this one in... Tahoe, which is the same in my NARS Sheer Glow. In my powder foundations, I picked up the Makeup Forever Duo Matte Foundation. Ooh, okay, the little slip slipped out of it. This is the color. It looks lighter on here, um, but I promise you it's like my perfect color. It is in number 209. And lastly, I picked up a backup of my Micro Smooth. However, I got this one in a lighter color in number 35. As far as primers are concerned, I picked up the Wash, the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This is what it looks like. It's very, very pricey. However, I, I've heard great things about this, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And then as far as concealers are concerned, I picked up the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in the color Honeycomb. This is what it looks like. It looks slightly close to my favorite concealer, which is the NARS Creamy Radiant, which I typically wear in Biscuit. However, they do have new colors, and I picked up Medium Dark, Dark 1.5. The Biscuit is Medium Dark 1. This one is 1.5 in Sucre d'Orange, d'Orange, number one, well, one, two, two, eight. And this is what that one looks like. And this is it next to Biscuit. They're almost close in tones. I also picked up this little makeup brush in a Dark Rainbow. It's the Pro Flawless Airbrush brush from the Sephora collection number 56. I believe this thing was on sale. I think I'm just going to end up giving that to my best friend. But lastly, the last thing that I picked up that I'm looking forward to trying from Sephora is this um, tape that I wanted to use instead of using regular tape on my eyes. I wanted to use something that's actually made for the eyes um, rather than the other tape. I believe that's it for the things that I did purchase from Sephora. The last thing that I purchased is the Patrick Star Matte um, Set Powder. I heard great things about this and I was told that it doesn't have flashback. Um, I'm still a big fan of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's my go-to. I absolutely love it. Um, it melts into my skin perfectly. So if this doesn't work for me, I'm probably going to add a little of this in. First, I'm going to go in with this YSL primer. And I'm just going to put two drops onto the tips of my fingers. And just, this does not have a pleasant smell. It smells like, okay, now it's smelling perfume. Like initially it smelled like something. I don't know. It has like this industrial scent to it. So mm, I don't know about that. But it does have my skin feeling like silk. I don't know if it's because I exfoliated or because that's how this feels. But yeah, it definitely has my skin feeling 
amazing. So now that that has set, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer and add this underneath those dark circles, girl. Like, and then on my eyelids, since my eyelids are a little discolored as well. The concealer that I just put on my eyes is a color correcting concealer and it's in the color peach. I'm gonna add some that's close to my natural skin tone in Warm Honey. I'm gonna take this little beauty blender and just blend all of that in. I'm trying to work as fast as possible because I only have so much daylight living here in Chicago. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to work as fast as I can. Now that that is on, I'm gonna set my eyelids with a little of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just gonna go over it with a light dusting just to set that area. So when I was out in Florida, y'all, like, can I just tell you, I had seriously the time of my life. I promise you, reconnecting with certain people is one of the best things that could happen to you because people grow in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, they grow, they mature, they learn, and then when you reconnect with them and you all come back together when I like you can bring so much to the table so yeah that's essentially what happened but what I can say is a lot of wild and crazy adventures occurred as well I think I'm probably going to insert little clips from my snapchat into this video so that you all can see it but um some conversations were had that I feel like if you're, I, I think I'm gonna rate this video so that kids under the age of 18 can't watch it, you know, um, because I don't want anyone's parents to be mad at me. But seriously, y'all, I feel as though I had the opportunity to find myself and establish a deep, friendship with someone that I consider my cousin because we grew up together but a deep friendship and relationship with her I'm so happy that we had the opportunity to sit and connect with one another because um we're just we're trying to grow and plan and develop ourselves you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people hit me up when it came to my Snapchat and were like, oh my gosh, you know, like, Lola, we didn't know that you behave like this, that you have fun like this, because I exude a different persona on other platforms such as Facebook and Instagram because my younger siblings have access to that. And the last thing I want is for them to see their big sister wiling out. So, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that I guess people did learn about me because I did post on my Facebook that, you know, my, my friend and I were going to um, have a great time in Florida. And I think a lot of people might have been interested in what it was that we were doing. Maybe I should darken this. Like, yeah, that way you all can see the color a lot better. And I could zoom in. There we go. We ended up having a phenomenal time. Very, very much needed time. I mean, I'm not going to say that everything, like all the comments were positive. There were some people who followed me and they had some negative things to say. And I'm like, you know what? Like, we're still going to do what we want to do. You keep watching. But yeah, people were saying little negative things like, oh, so this, this is how y'all get down or, you know, what do y'all do for a living? Asking random questions, you know, and nothing's wrong with that because people are just curious to know. But 
because we don't have kids or anything like that right now, we're able to do whatever it is that we want to do. We're able to explore and move as we see, you know, fit. We move the way we, we want to move. And we don't have anyone to essentially answer to, you know? But yeah, if your friends aren't developing you or you're not growing from your friendships, it's time to, to you know, rethink whether or not those friendships are worth the time that you have now. She, uh, she, she definitely, I could say that, you know, Corlicia is... De definitely far from judgmental. She's very open-minded and she's more forgiving than I am. And I consider myself an extremely nice person, but there's a lot that she's willing to take when it comes to her friendships that I wish she didn't, that she does. And I wish I could have captured her entire personality on this trip, y'all, because she... Yo, like, she's definitely hilarious and a great time. She was a little down because she unfortunately lost $400. I, yeah, but she managed to still make the most out of that situation. Like, we, we did some of everything in such a limited amount of time and hopefully one day she decides to move out here to Chicago with me so that we can have time similar to that one as well you know I wish more females were supportive you know instead of so combative and um competitive it's like man we can all win together you know what I'm saying like there's more than enough out here for all of us to eat and it's it's a big comp competition thing and I didn't get that from being around her nor Chanel like it was it was a us thing like we we all want to win type thing and sometimes like even the people that are close to you closest to you they're close to you just to watch your moves you know not to help develop you or see you grow. So I just like, I'm just so cautious of a lot of people and it shouldn't be that way. I wish it weren't that way, but that's just how it is. And I don't post all of my moves on social media for that very reason, because I don't want people to think that they have what it takes to bring me down or, uh, Stop what it is that I have going on. If you're not supporting me or helping me build, then move out my way so I can grab the hammer and nails to keep building what it is that I need to build to get to where I need to go. But yeah, of course your girl, like I wasn't going to let her and Chanel just think, you know, it was nothing but vacation. Chanel lives there by the way, but I wasn't going to let her think that it was nothing but a vacation. You know, we, I, I did make both of them go work out with me. I typically like to work out five times a week because the same way you want healthy people around you, you want to be healthy yourself. Like you, you want to be everything that you expect other thing, other people around you to be. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to be a hypocrite out here in these streets. But I just, man. You know, sometimes it's like, I want people to win more than people want me to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you all ever feel that way? It's like, I just want all of us to eat. Like, that's, I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. It's possible. But I can say that whenever I see a female succeeding I'm truly happy for her especially if that person is similar to me in a sense that they came from the struggle and maybe I'll talk about that one day I don't know but they came from the struggle and they seriously 
work their way up to where they are now because we, man, we as women, we already have it tough. You know, wage gaps, all of this stuff going on with, you know, these, these women being sexually harassed or raped and all that other jazz. We just, we have it hard and just overtly and overly sexualized. I don't know which foundation I'm going to use. Um, let me see what color this Toffee foundation is. It did not come with the primer that it normally comes with. Okay, let me see what color it is because remember last time this stuff oxidized on me. So, mm. I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's see. Well, it's not terrible. But I said that the last time, so I don't know. I ended up ordering 410. So hopefully that gets here soon and I'll just compare the two to see which one works for me. But uh yeah, let's just do the NARS foundation. And like I said, this one is in Tahoe. Mm. Okay, that 420 might work. Maybe I can mix the two since I know Tahoe and the other NARS foundation works for me. Right, and I think I'm going to go in with a buffer brush. Honestly, I am loving these two mixed together. Maybe I should cancel the other order for the 410. Oh, it smells. Okay, this has a, these little drops going, they're going a long way. Yo, I look freaking flawless. And that's not me being arrogant. That's just like stating facts. Like my skin even in person looks amazing maybe it's because i take care of my skin and then i'm just going to blend in this concealer as well all right i zoomed y'all in so that y'all could see it this stuff looks perfect Then I'm going to go over my face with the Makeup Forever 209 Duo Matte Powder. Now I'm going to go over it with the Micro Smooth Powder in Tan. For bronzing, I'm going to use my Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number 5 by Laura Mercier. Hello? Yo. Where my bald hair died, at least I was tired, honey. I figured as much. It's all good. Where my bald hair died, too. I know. I know. I didn't know it was in the ring. <laughs> I'm just not getting out the house, girl. Like, I need that rest, girl. Like, they're working out this part of me. Like, I'm just like... <laughs>
guys. So sorry that I had to fast forward through a lot of that. As you all probably already know, I was on the phone with the girl that I just so happened to talk, be talking to you all about. But yeah, um, we're definitely trying to come up with a nice business plan for the two of us. But yeah, friendships, like I probably said in another video, are everything to me. Like they're almost as serious as your relationships, you know, and at times, if not more serious, because you, you rely on your friends in times that you feel like you have no one else. You know what I'm saying? Like when you are in a serious and committed relationship, sometimes your friends are all you have when you don't want your family in your business. Overall, I am so happy for the both of us because even though we're not where we want to be, I feel like considering how we grew up, um, because like I said, I've known her, or did I say it? I've known her since we were in first grade. Like, it was a minute. She went to a different school from me, of course. But, yeah, I've known her since way back. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's good that we're reconnecting. And we have a lot of goals in common. We want to see each other win. Like, that's imperative. Like, you want to see your friends win if they're a real friend, if you're a real friend. So yeah, I'm going in with my gloss because uh, I prefer my lips to be hydrated than dry. And this is my Anastasia gloss in the color Caramel and Gilded. The sun is about to set. I have so much other stuff to do. Um, I'm probably gonna get these lights set up. So uh, yeah, I could film the other things I need to film. That way you all have content. And so, yeah, that's it for the makeup look. Um, hopefully you all like it because I'm absolutely loving this foundation now. I probably could do with 110 just a little bit because it's just a little smidge too dark, but that's fine. Like I, I could do this. I could do this. So, yeah, until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, guys, peace. All right, so I just filmed an intro and outro for another video. But yeah, uh, hopefully you all like this video. If you did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. As you see, this is the end result. I absolutely love the way that my foundation has turned out. I've had time to style my hair a bit, just give it a little flat iron and a bump, something super simple. Um, the video as to how I applied this wig might be up before this video or it may be after. Nonetheless, it will be up eventually. Um, and yeah, hopefully you all like this video and you learned a little bit about me and um yeah like i said this video is so random anyway until next time guys i will talk to you all later don't forget to subscribe to my channel first and foremost share this video and yeah don't forget to comment like i i want to know your thoughts as to how it is that i can help you all learn how to apply in your wigs and or your frontals so yeah until next time guys one thing I want to mention that I didn't get an opportunity to mention is that I'm definitely, as a result of this trip, I definitely found myself being more optimistic as to the direction that I, I personally want to go in, whether it be with friendships, um, my life aspirations and or goals and what it is that I want the world to know about me. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, like I said, thankful that Corlisha and I reconnected and that we were able to have fun, you know, with Chanel at her place in Florida. Um, we're definitely going to be linking up soon and you all will definitely be seeing 
her more soon, hopefully on my channel. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that, that we, we had the chance to do what it is that we ended up doing there.